Meghan and Harry's stage managed decision not to announce their baby's birth is slammed by Loose Women panel, who claim it will cause more interest and speculation. The Loose Women panel have slammed Harry and Meghan's decision to delay the announcement of the birth of their baby. Speaking on ITV Today, presenter Jane Moore branded it weird and argued that the couple should just announce the news. Nadia Sawala even argued that it would drum up more interest, something the couple are keen to avoid while they settle into life as a new family. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex have said that they will announce the birth of their baby once they have had an opportunity to celebrate privately as a new family, Kensington Palace revealed today. Speaking about the decision not to immediately announce the birth of the baby, Jane Moore said, Who does that? That's such a weird thing to make an announcement that you're not making an announcement. I get that she doesn't want to come on the hospital steps with the newborn baby and that she wants a home birth, but if you're going to have a baby at home, what difference does it make if you just tell people that you've had a baby? Nadia Sawala added, If you're trying to dissuade interest, I think this creates it. They wanted us to be invested in their love story, and we are, and part of that story is their baby being born. Jane sniped, we paid for that story, before adding, for the British, the royal family is ours and Harry is beloved, and so anything that makes us feel as though we're being pushed back. However Brenda Edwards defended the closely watched couple, arguing, I'm not too fussed about the fact that they want us to give them a bit of time. Let them enjoy the baby, there's so much pressure on them. Hitting back, Nadia said, it goes against what the royal family is about. And Jane claimed, I think it's quite Hollywood to try and stage manage stuff. Chipping in, Kay Adams said, well usually the royal family don't say anything. However many viewers took to Twitter to defend the couple, with one follower writing, leave Harry and Meghan alone. If they want a couple of hours or a day or two to enjoy their baby then what difference does it make to you? Another added, Maybe they just don't want her father selling stories again and spoiling their moment. Elsewhere a viewer argued, everyone slated Kate for coming out of hospital wearing heels and taking pics, and now these be are slating Meghan and Harry for keeping it private, leave them alone. But some agreed with the panel, with one viewer claiming, why go against tradition? If you marry into the British royal family then expect to be part of tradition. Another said, it kinda makes no sense to me either. Meghan is expected to have a midwife-led home birth at Frogmore Cottage in Windsor, the new home she shares with Prince Harry on the Berkshire estate. She wants to follow in the footsteps of the Queen, who was born at the Mayfair home of her grandparents and gave birth to all four of her children at either Buckingham Palace or Clarence House. A Kensington Palace spokesman said, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex are very grateful for the goodwill they have received from people throughout the United Kingdom and around the world as they prepare to welcome their baby. Their Royal Highnesses have taken a personal decision to keep the plans around the arrival of their baby private. The Duke and Duchess look forward to sharing the exciting news with everyone once they have had an opportunity to celebrate privately as a new family. Sources stressed earlier this week that Harry and Meghan, who are expecting their first child within weeks, have not ruled out a hospital delivery because a woman having a baby over the age of 35 is at an increased risk of premature birth or the need for an epidural or cesarean. But a friend in America said the Duchess, who still practices yoga daily and has sailed through her pregnancy, is in extremely good health and sees no reason why she could not enjoy a safe delivery in the privacy of the cottage. It is her favorite choice, the source said, but it obviously depends on how things are nearer the time. If she does go ahead with a home birth, Meghan could give birth without any pain relief at all, but would also have the option of gas and air, a warm bath, a birth pool, tens, a machine that uses small, electrical impulses to reduce pain and muscle spasms, or relaxation techniques such as hypnobirthing, which Californian Meghan who very much favors alternative therapies, is believed to have been studying with Harry. It is understood that the 34-year-old prince would be by his wife's side every step of the way. The option would also have the added benefit of giving the couple the privacy they crave. It is understood they quickly ruled out the option of using the private Lindo wing at St. Mary's Hospital, Paddington, like the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge. Kate delivered George, 
now 5, Charlotte, 3, and 11-month-old Louis at St. Mary's. However it is thought Harry and Meghan decided against it because it felt too much like a goldfish bowl. The Duchess objected to the idea of standing on the steps of the maternity unit surrounded by the public and the media just hours after the birth, particularly when her child will not be in the direct line of succession. Last week it emerged the couple had also made clear that they want minimal involvement from the Queen's household doctors, surgeon gynecologist Alan Farthing and Guy Thorpe Beeston, widely considered to be among the best in the business. Sources said suggestions it was a snub were wide of the mark, however. When it comes to giving birth, every woman has to decide what's best for her and what's best for her baby. The Queen's team will be involved, but it has not been decided how much yet said one. Opting for a home birth would also explain why there would be minimal need for a consultant, aside from confirming that the baby is fit and healthy. Home births only account for around 2.3%, 1 in 40 births, in England and are normally led by a local midwife. Community midwives are available on the NHS but it is also possible to hire an independent midwife at a cost of between £2,000 and £5,000. Megan will however, have had to consider that for women having their first baby, home birth slightly increases the risk of serious problems for the child, from 5 in 1,000 for a hospital birth to 9 in 1,000 for a home birth. That said, the royal family has a long history of women giving birth successfully at home. The Queen Mother gave birth to the Queen on April 21, 1926 at the London home of her grandparents, the Earl and Countess of Strathmore. The Queen herself gave birth to Charles, Anne, Andrew and Edward at either Buckingham Palace or Clarence House. Harry and Meghan, who completed their move to Frogmore last week, see the cottage as their forever home. They believe it will enable them to bring up their family outside the scrutiny of palace life.